was growing up in rural Missouri, firearms were a regular part of my life. Beyond learning how to safely handle firearms while hunting and shooting, I learned also to respect them. Like so many parents, I made sure those same lessons were instilled in my own children. It is because of the efforts of parents or adults who can have a positive influence on a child that the culture of safety and respect toward firearms has been so well maintained in rural America. Our communities and families work very hard to ensure this heritage and it is something and it is very upsetting when lawmakers, many of whom know nothing about firearms, attempt to place limitations on our Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. The Second Amendment is, in fact, a primary constitutional right that sets America far apart from nations around the world. Our founders got this right. They knew ensuring the right of a citizen to keep and bear arms would always be vital to ensuring personal freedoms. <clears throat> I spent my time as elected official first in the Missouri State House of Representatives and now in Congress working to protect the Second Amendment. However, not only is it important to protect the right to own the gun, it's also important to protect the privacy of the information that you have the information about the ownership of the gun and the concealed carry permits and things like that. I'll give you an example. In my state just recently, uh, in fact, we're barely finished working on this, uh, it's come to, revel to, 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 uh, to our attention that the Department of Revenue and High Patrol, in working in conjunction with the Social Security Administration's Inspector General, we're looking into uh, getting control of the concealed carry permit list of all the folks in the state of Missouri to compare it for uh, mental health disability fraud in our state. And while we were satisfied in going through all the different uh, informational checks and cross checks with uh, regard to the, the federal side of this, that they did everything legally they were supposed to do, as well as the information was protected uh, and not compromised, it still pointed out some of the loose and sloppiness uh, that, went, uh, that went on with regards to uh, the way that the state folks handle our information. And to me, that is something that we have to be constantly watchful for. And so, you know, someone once said that the price of freedom is eternal vigilance. And I think with regard to Second Amendment rights, it's certainly something that is very true.